Hey guys, I'm Joe Next Occasion, and today we are doing some more Demon Hunters, ain't we? Sure are. Um, so, I, I don't know, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing a little adjustment. Yes, we are. Because we have this here. We have this extractor servo skill. I don't think we need it. I feel like everything's already basically maxed out. Um, and we have a chance to get some more skulls here, but everyone does so many crits. I just don't see us really needing an extractor servo skull. So, I think what we might do... Um, I'm trying to think what this guy's good at. If we have a look at his abilities, doesn't he get a bunch of extra crit chance and damage? Well, he gets extra crit damage with his Storm Bolter. So, getting extra crit chance on it might be worthwhile, right? Obviously, only if we Cybolt. Only if we Cybolt. Uh, but yeah, maybe improving that. Maybe just making him better at range. Because, like, this is specifically for executing folks. It doesn't really do additional damage. I mean, five damage isn't that big a deal. Um, in fact, I do want to check. We can't upgrade and do more damage, can we? No. No, that's it. It's only tier two. It is only tier two. So, yeah, we're going to give him um, more gear. It's going to give him slightly better ranged something. Extra ranged chance sounds like a good one. Yeah. And that'll also trigger support fire on, um, on our other chat. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Although, do I really want to be spending a load of willpower on shooting? You know, I really don't know. Maybe I do just want to put up crit damage on his melee or something. It's a tough one. I mean, that's just a, a simple one, right? Just give him the old uh, dominant lever to Monica. An extra two damage just make it a little bit better. Could just give more willpower, actually. Is that the best thing I could do? Probably, right? Given the fact that we are just using him for teleporting and things. Um, so that's probably the best way to go. Yeah. Are we going to stun anyone? Is Endbringer even worth bringing? Probably not, actually. What might be worth bringing is a sword of some kind. Um, what weapon was it? that has that ridiculous explosion. What was it? It wasn't Falchions, was it? We didn't lose it, did we? It wasn't something we lost. Oh, okay, we can upgrade that too. Can I, though? I could. I could afford to upgrade that as well. So five damage, extra three. And uh, chance to get extra AP is quite nice on a crit. It's not terrible. Oh, is it one of the hammers? No. What on earth is it that has that weird explosion? It's this one. It's Warp Breaker. It was Warp Breaker. I think it was a sword for some reason. Okay, so Warp Breaker, we could give, uh, we give him Warp Breaker. So he can teleport in, silence everybody. Um, I think that's quite nice, because I don't think we're going to stun anybody. Like, ever again, because we're not taking our Dreadnought anywhere. And he was the only one actually getting any stuns on anybody. Um, so yeah, I think that's the way to go. I think we take Warp Breaker. Because more damage than he's currently doing. Big crit damage chance. Yes, do that. We'll take it away from Solor, because Solor might not be coming with us. Which is a little sad, honestly. I do really like Solor. Maybe we will bring him? In which case, I'll swap some items around again later. Uh, but I think for now, this is quite a fun one to have. The fact that he will be teleporting in, silencing everybody, and then we can start blatting everyone. But the extra crit damage is quite nice, and we can put that up higher if we give him some appropriate war gear. So, shall I give him this one? Or do we go all in with the crit chance? I feel like the crit chance we're going to augment a lot anyway, with, um, you know the one. The thingamajigs. Stratagems. So okay, that's what we're going with. Do I like that? I like it enough. I like it enough. He will be better on a non-Dreadnought mission with this setup. So I'll take it. Alright guys, we're done. Okay? We've sorted this all out. This is something I should have done at the end of last episode. But I wanted to have a little think. And now I have. So now we can get to it. Um, so we have Kartha with us as well, which is a lot of fun. So this should be exciting. It's a proper story mission and everything. Wish me luck.
All is ready, Inquisitor. The wards on the Prime Seeds are reaffirmed and are in your hands. Good. I will blaze them into the warp with the Emperor's purity. A pale ember against the flame of a trillion tormented souls. Cease your prattle. Inquisitor! It is nothing, Dominus. Initiate teleportation. Hold strong, Vakir. My brothers will protect you to the last. Thank you, Ektar. Ektar, the Inquisitor's pulse has risen considerably. Her resistance has proven almost inhuman. But it is clear she has finally reached her limits. I am ready to do my part. Upon her return, then? If she returns. It is holy. Yes, the holy, beautiful work of the plague god. Never have I felt such torment. Oh, oh you will feel all of this and more, Carver, soon. Silence! Inquisitor, our goal is the inner sanctum. You know what must be done. This is uh, all lime jelly. That's the lime jelly of the of the plague lord. Uh, so where are we going? Is it up here? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's up here. All right. Dead ahead then. Cool. Oh, look at this little wormy boy. Hey there. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, isn't he cute? I know, I'm doing a heresy again. I need to stop doing that. Okay, let's, uh... Pick this way, I think. Let's pick this way. Okay, it should have been, um, Cadrus that I moved first, really. In case you need to teleport people up. If I must. You must. Taking position. Uh-huh. You do that. I am with you. God, we had a just a wonderful time in here. Black oh, Sir hello. Directly conduit the warp's native inhabitants. Brothers, take heed of the Noctiloth crowns. The enemy is clearly aware of our presence here. <laughs> God, I can't believe they have a Stargate. So, um, yeah, we had a great time here in Standard Difficulty um, campaign. Because at that point, I did... Uh, I mean, the Standard Difficulty is easier to stun enemies, and we had, like, a bunch of stun mines and just, like... I don't know what else, but we were basically executing people in every pod, just normally. So we were doing some, like, mad combos to get through here, fighting, like, pod after pod after pod after reinforcements after reinforcements. Like, it was... Ah, oh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So one thing we could probably do, uh, we'll probably kill these guys, um, but as soon as we sort of get past, it's going to be quite easy just to have Invio get like really high up here and teleport right in and just have everything trailing us from a long way away, because um, we will have to defend once we get to the top. So you know, the quicker we get there, the less reinforcements have spawned until we get there, so you know, just sort of... Speeds things up. Oh, what was that? So, also, I don't think um, this level ever counts as us having, like, come out of combat um, as well. So, I don't think we ever get, like, a respite where we get all of our AP back or anything. Um, I don't think that's a thing that happens here. So, let's see. We have a line of sight. I wonder whether it's worth just throwing the like using one of these freebies to get some AP now, just so we can teleport in here, wipe out this lot, 
um, to get in quicker. There will be these guys as well. If we can wipe out these pods on like the first turn and start moving our way up, we will skip a lot of rounds of reinforcements and things. At least I think we will. So, you know what? Despite... Oh, actually, one thing I can do instead... Just use all of the chapter. I'll just do that instead. We have loads of willpower for Iolanthus. You know, spending half of it now might be a bit much, but... Because what else did we bring? Yeah, we brought the crits. We didn't bring the willpower one. So, this might be a bit much, but honestly, Iolanthus hasn't been spending a lot of willpower lately. You know, grand scheme of things. So let's do that. Alright, then we're going to move up. And then we're going to teleport in. Can I teleport in over here? No, I can't. But I can teleport in over here or here. Because all these guys are melee focused, aren't they? We have a plague ridden, a plague bearer, and a plague bearer. So yeah, I could just teleport here on top of these guys. Is that worth doing? I'm going to decide that it is. And 8,000 cultists. Mm. <laughs> I love that he's just miming. He never plays that sound effect. He's just there miming, going pew 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 pew. I does guns. That's a lot of seeds. They they all have seeds? <laughs> what on earth? That's so fun. Or a bug. One or the other. Uh, so, okay. So this is a bit disappointing, actually, that... Um, here. A bit disappointing that these guys aren't standing near each other. And I can't quite kill them there either. Well, this I feel like was a bit crap. Uh, if I hit this guy, I could hit most of them, but not kill any. Which is disappointing. How am I going to kill all these guys? There's just so many of them. I kind of adore it, honestly. I mean, it will kill two of them. But that'll be all of my AP. And it won't get me a crit, either. So there's no chance of getting another. But if I hit this guy, there is a small chance. Or if I do that, it'll kill a couple. Then I can shoot one, I suppose. That's something. I all like this. Uh, we'd have to use two AP to get there. Standing ready. Um, Psychic Onslaught again could kill a couple. Wow, this is immediately just ridiculous. And yeah, I know there's all this stuff here too. Uh, that I should probably have been watching out for. I think this is a bad start. I think this is a bad start. But we'll see. That'll kill four of them. Oh no, only three. That was about. Did get another AP. So we could kill him. Guarantee a crit. Okay, good. Uh, I mean, okay, that's a pretty big, big amount of them, actually. So do that. We'll kill another couple, and the rest will be very, very injured. Um, so then maybe we could finish them off with him. Uh, Iolanthus, we could guarantee a crit here. Maybe he'd get another action. What? We still have Fakir, of course. She could teleport over here and start shooting people. Actually, she's got one AP because she already walked over there, which is very annoying. So never mind. Uh... Probably teleport her over here anyway. What is your will? Probably involves killing. Usually does. What is your will? Alright. Is it gonna kill him? Yes. So I'm doing it. Okay, good. So I killed two more. Right, who are you? What are you? Just normal cultist. We have so much armor, I don't think it's going to matter. He's still alive. Yes, Commander. Which is a bit of a pain. I am here to serve. Um, 
we can move here. And I mean, very high chance to kill both of these guys just from shooting normally. And that would free up Iolantos to do something it. more interesting. My blade is yours. So, uh, if I do that, that will just kill them both, which I guess is quicker. And then who could I shoot? I could kill him as well. Oh, yeah, I think we can kill them all then. Okay, so let's kill him as well. Oh, we've got more APs on. Cool. Alright, so let's finish him off. Okay, then let's kill him. Brilliant. Uh, I say kill them, I don't mean him, obviously. Though I could start banishing some of them, which would be quite good. Uh, he can move again, which I think is probably safer given the fact we've got Plague Bearers that are going to be chasing us. So I'm going to jump down here, I think, with him. I'm busy. She's going to teleport um, just over here broadly, I guess. Just keep away from them. Okay, so I like to see. can, um, I guess, kill I him. I I'm not sure I really want to if... Uh, He's gonna be able to reach me. My blade is ever ready. I wonder. So it really is just those two. Oh, I'm gonna move over here. All right. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attack him. And all right, fifty percent chance to get crit. We might get another AP out of this. If not, I'll take some damage. That's fine. Okay, they're all having fun. <laughs> Hello There's a chance you can block that. But there's not much of a chance that you can block this. So I'll probably just shoot him. Uh, we also just want to get out of here. I mean, I can just leave him to his own devices. Um, I wonder if there'll be anything on these stairs, though, on the way up. There might be. There might be. But I feel like the point is that they chase us. You know? So let's just move a bit. That was perfect. Uh, right, you I'm there. Here to serve. Oh, can, okay, you can shoot from there. Uh, you only get one shot, though, which I'm not that happy about. And I can shoot him from over here, too. What is your will? And Storm can teleport over here and just sort of kill him. Because, you know, that's how Storm do. So maybe I'll just do that? Uh, will I be able to escape once I kill him, though? Probably not. He's probably going to blow up. But I can teleport attack him once then run. Maybe maybe I can attack him twice because I might get a freebie. I didn't get a freebie. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Alright, well, let's do this anyway. Ooh, is that going to work? Ooh, I'm not sure I'll be able to quite get him, actually. Ooh, no. Well, all right. We can use Astral Aim. Okay, we will get support fire as well. So we can do that. I can armor break. Uh, <laughs> could try and stun him. Seems a bit unlikely. Ow, he got me right in my armor. All right, there we go. He's dead. Was that the free reload? Did you run out of ammunition? Well, how about that? Uh, okay. Full strike, instant kill. Done. 
<laughs> and he got AP from that. Good. Uh, Alright, moving on. Bye then. I can't believe how quickly we can kill them. It really is tremendous. Uh, oh my god, can you seriously not reach him? Oh, that's so disappointing. Alright, fine. Standing ready. Standing ready. Yes, Commander. Uh, well, I don't know. Do something. We could move there and banish them. It'd be nice to banish him. He's got a lot of health, doesn't he? Could move here. Could teleport over and then get him. Um, kind, of, kind of low on AP, broadly, though. I mean, I could use another on the chapter yes. on somebody. Which could work out well. Alright, there's the other one. There's the other one. Alright, I'm going to banish. Back to the hell you so that's 36 damage in one hit, so. Has fallen. You know. It's just a very good opening gambit, isn't it? Alright, how am I going to make sure I kill this guy? If I do that, he can't block it. If I do that, there's a chance he can block it. We don't have any disruptor skulls, because that would be uh, clever. Um, I could hit him with a smite. Um, God, I don't know. Could Cybolt. Pretty good chance to do some damage there. My blade is you. What is your will? Moving now. Yeah, if I give him some extra moves, I'm about to hit him a couple of times. I've got to attack that guy twice with Iolanthus, if I could kill him some other way. Actually, I could only attack him once because I'd need to use another chapter to get him an extra attack. So unless I just go ahead and use this um, on him, just get a couple shots into that guy. Yeah, let's do it. The Emperor lights our path. Oh. Good. That's a kill. And he's got another AP. Lovely. Shame I can't do that and hit him magically. Let me just shoot him in half, so, you know, good news. Uh, we can attack him once. I'm busy. Uh, I mean, I could dominate. No, I can't. Good. Hit him with the old frenzy. Doesn't really do anything. God, I wonder. Um, I mean, he could block it. He could block it. Don't have the best chance to crit. We would need one crit. We need we need two attacks, basically. We need to get him with a crit, and we need to hit him again. So, basically, if this misses, then I haven't been able to kill him. That's the problem. So I would need to go in for the, uh, the hammer hand first and hope that I win. I can chop his arm off and finish him off with another kill. So a 50% chance to kill him this turn, basically. Ah, we rolled the dice. And the dice landed on heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did just say that. Alright, now, now I can chop his arm off. Look at that. How annoying is that? And then we just rolled a crit on the second time anyway. Oh my god, that was so lucky. We actually rolled we rolled the dice again, and this time it came up heads. It's a weird dice, okay. And we actually just got reimbursed all our AP because we did finish combat. I really did think that in this mission you were locked out of combat, but apparently not. Or locked into combat, rather. You know, like on the Noctilith Crown missions. But uh, no, that's nonsense, apparently. Okay, let's get you up here. I'll open that seed pod, and he can just run up to the top, hopefully. Um, more things are going to try and spawn in. So, you know what? We're going to try and get to the top. We're going to try and get to the top and through those uh, doors. As quickly as possible. So with that, he can teleport himself. And then when we bust through the doors, we will then see the enemy, it'll put us into combat, where we'll have fresh AP. Where he can teleport everybody in. Oh my god, there was no one there. <laughs> there wasn't even anyone in there. That's astounding. Okay. Sure, everyone, uh... Are you sure, Commander? Yeah, I'm very sure. You should actually be the one leading, but that's okay. 
The enemy's reinforcements will not cease. You must make haste to the inner sanctum. Trying, Ektar. I'm already in it, don't worry. Okay, good. I am here to serve as your will. So, in VO. Um I mean there's gotta be some enemies in here, right? So I'll make sure I have as much AP as possible. That should be close enough to like get things done. It certainly gets us out of the fight. Commander, it is there you know, down on the top below. of the dais. That is where it must be done. What is it? Hmm. Oh my god, really? Alright, no, you're gonna teleport there, then you're gonna do the thing. I'm getting done this turn, alright? I was just thinking that. Also, I didn't get the seed pod. My bad. I'm gonna get the seed pod, he says, with all the confidence yes. in the world. Well, we got that one, so. Yeah. So, how many turns do we have to be here? Three turns. I don't think any of the enemies can get up here in three turns, so I think we've won already. At once! So, um, I am here to <laughs> because we just made such great time up here. Like, they've got to bob and weave around all the areas, so... Yeah, look how far away they are. Focus, Inquisitor Lakia. Stay with the squad. Her biosignature seems oh, here we go. in flux. She is nothing if not persistent. She must okay, prevail. Okay, so, I thought this might be full, but apparently they can still... I guess they come out of the worm. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Um. Yeah, I mean, kill him, yeah? Cool. Let's get stabbing. Uh, let's uh, break his armor. Chop off his arm. Chop off his arm. That's always more fun. Good. And yeah, let's guarantee the crit. <laughs> Good. Now get yourself another AP, please. Oh, I didn't. Wait, what? What? Oh, he's around a little worm corner. Oh, weird. Okay. That's strange. Silly worm corner. All right, let's uh, let's hit him. Armor pierce. Not quite going to kill him though. I know. I'm disappointed too. I'm disappointed too. So I'll have to scan. Use this one more time? We can, but we can't warp charge. We can't warp charge. So, Astrolabe. Oh my god, we're not quite in range. There's always something, isn't there? Always something. Seeking the tainted. Let's get you in here. Let's Astrolabe this jerk. Could warp charge, then destabilize. We will have the extra hit from there, so that should work. Should get the kill. Oh, no, maybe not. Did blow up his cover, though, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, now if I do that, we can get some more work done, which I quite like. Though I am tempted just to shoot him, honestly. Because we could ignore his armor if we get the crit, which is a pretty high chance, too. And we didn't get it. Also, very disappointing. All right, let's teleport you in here. Uh, probably, we're not going to have to melee him, actually. We're going to have to shoot him, which is a bit disappointing. I'll Um We don't have the willpower left on him. Standing ready. So, let's see. I mean, I could, I could go for him here. Yeah, I think Iolanthus needs to give... Um, that's not the Psychic Onslaught there. He's going to just jump in over here. Alright, we'll see how that goes. So, he can't Warp Strike, he's just used all of his willpower, so that's fun. Love that, big fan. Um, so I could just shoot him a bunch. No, I can't use that. Cool. So he can't get the extra crit damage, so that's a little bit pointless. I can just hit him. <laughs> we really should just focused on... Uh, oh, we did focus on... Melee crits, of course we did. Alright, I'm actually going to do more critting, alright? Hang on, first, we still have one of these, so I give someone else some more AP. 
So screw it. You get more AP. And uh, then we're going to turn on crits. Good. So, hit him. Good. Armor pierce. No, not quite going to kill him. Let's take his ranged weapon off then. Which is more fun. Okay, so he's dead. So that's him done. And then I can kill these two. Brilliant, and uh, then I'm going to shoot him. Hopefully, we get the crit. And we did. Justice. There we go. Good news. Um, then everyone stay where you are, I guess. Sure. They're still so far away. I really think we only have to guard from that one direction. I don't think we have to care about anyone from downstairs. Ooh, armor pierced with red eyes. Or are you down here, trapped with me? Standing you are ready. nothing! Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. But I still have unspoken truths you lust after. All you need to do is ask. No! It is done. Knights of Titan, rally to me! This ritual is nearly complete! Alright. Inquisitor, I charged you to end this bloom. Why do I find you within this maelstrom of corruption? <laughs> Our goal was to reach you, Supreme Grandmaster. We cannot destroy the Bloom without your aid. Speak then. The Grey Knight's archives describe your plight beyond the Veil, that you know the way to the Garden of the Plague God. Aye. My curse binds me to the Immaterium. The Garden of Nurgle is vast, but I have found my way through its confounding pathways before. The roots of the Bloom. The source of its power. We know that they lie deep within the garden, out of our mortal reach. Hmm. It is no small feat to navigate the Plague God's domain, but the Bloom's stench is more putrid than all others. With luck, I will locate and sever these roots before my trespass is noted. We would give our lives to fight with you, my lord. I know it, Ektar, but I would not have my brothers share this cursed fate. You must yet hold the line until I can achieve this task you have set for me. As you command, my lord, we are the Hammer. In the meantime, look within yourself, Karthavakir. Your strength is yet needed. Farewell. Hooray! We, uh, we, we did it. We sent a text message. Um, <laughs> we made a phone call to hell. So that went well. Um, yeah, we can we can traverse the map so quickly; it's ridiculous. So most of the fights sort of didn't happen, uh, which I think is pretty fun. <laughs> I just like that we could do that. I feel there's a lot of finesse in in our squad, mostly by teleporting across the map and critting every time. It's um, yeah, I'm gonna call it finesse, not cheese. Goes finesse. <laughs> 